Right, guys, so we don't have any comms, which is going to make things difficult, but look who we've bumped into, the two Cheetah brothers. Now we're right on the boundary of Incoro and Cheetah Plains, and so they are going north out of our area, which seems to be the story of the morning, but it's so exciting to see the two of them, and they are looking absolutely great, and I'm so glad that they are together. I haven't seen them together, so to see them now is really, really something, and aren't they the most beautiful animals in this morning light? really is quite something you can see look at those long flattened tails absolutely beautiful and this is their general sort of pattern and where they like to walk they like to come from cheetah plains and they come up this way then they head towards Incoro and they normally kind of lie down at Incoro at the pans itself so this is the kind of general territorial route that they go and I'm sure from here they're going to go up into Torchwood and then they generally go around to Kruger and then back down again but are they not the most beautiful animals now hopefully they'll lie down somewhere on this road I don't think that they're going to but it would be nice if they did now, I need to just quickly update the other guides so that they know what's going on is any station in the east copies me is to male cheetah mobile north um, towards Karkul open One has stopped just to look around. But they are really moving quite quickly this morning. I would imagine that they are actually on the hunt, so they're looking for any signs of any prey that could possibly be out here. And this is always a good place to come and check. This area often houses wildebeest and impalas, so I'm glad that we caught them here in this area. Now, it would have been nice had there been one of those animals around because they definitely would have hunted. I'll just hold on two seconds. Uh, go ahead. Uh, they're just mobile north on Karkul. I'm going to be losing visual at the moment. Mobile straight north towards Nkoro. Okay, copy. Uh, you won't miss them. They're just mobile north on the road. Right, so I'm going to try and pull forward so we just can keep visual of them a little bit longer. It's unfortunately the way it goes sometimes. Sorry, Vim. Let me just get round. Maybe I'll be able to keep visual of them for a little bit longer now. There we go. So you can see they're just going straight up the road and away from us. Now, so Tracy, you're wondering if they have names? No, these two Cheetah brothers don't have names. We don't really see them enough. Well, we weren't seeing them enough to name them. They were one of those sightings that kind of just came in and out and wasn't very, very sort of long periods of time that they spent here. So no one's named them. But now in the last sort of, I would say, probably two months, they really have been here an excessive amount. So we've seen a lot more of them in the last two months. Um, and so they haven't been named, but maybe it's time to name them. Um, at the end of the day, like I say, they just don't spend that much time here, and that's why the rangers haven't given them any real names. Um, it's also the thing with cheetahs is that they tend to spend a lot of time um, off this sort of property, and, and their, their lifespans tend to be a little bit shorter. So we haven't really invested too much time into naming them and, and keeping sort of progress on them but I suppose it is time these two males do spend a lot of time with us so maybe at the next rangers meeting we'll bring it up and see if anybody's got an opinion as to if they should be given a name just at least for the coalition maybe not individuals but the coalition is called a certain name the thing is is that there's the only these two cheetah brothers so if you say that you've got two male cheetah everybody knows who you're talking about so it's not like it's different sort of storylines that we're following and there's different sort of characters involved in us it's not like the birmingham boys and the timbers and all these other male lions that come in and out all the time these guys are literally the only two cheetah males that we see in this area so for us you know when we see them we know exactly who we're talking about every time and that's the end of that. But unfortunately, they are disappearing into the distance. I can just see them, the back of them slowly going through that long grass. And so I think that's all we're going to have from them this morning, which is a little bit unfortunate. 